Hello, and welcome back to this special episode. I am your host, Liz Surya, with the Tax Advisory and Business Coach Success Podcast. I have a big announcement to make today. Starting now, we are going to be recording a podcast series, um, actually with video. So if you are interested, you can go ahead and do a search on YouTube and just go ahead and under the name of Tax Advisory and Biz Coach, B-I-Z, and feel free to like, comment, or share. So today I have an amazing guest by the name of Andrew Allenman. He is a wonderful podcaster for many years. And part of my, I was in motivation to get into podcasting. So he is a very special guest. So let me briefly make an introduction on him, who he is. He actually has a founder. He's the founder of podcastguest.com. And he has an online directory that allows podcasters like myself to connect with expert guests. So no further ado, I'm going to go ahead and move it over to, uh, to Andrew. So Andrew, how are you today? Thank you so much for being here with us. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. Absolutely. So let's get started with some questions that I think that, you know, if the audience could be there right in front of you, like I'm right now looking at the camera, which is kind of a little odd because we're so used to looking at eye, right? <laughs> uh, that, you know, these are probably some of the questions that they might have in mind. Is that okay? Yeah, let's do All it. All right. Excellent. So how can a business owner use podcasting to get more business? Well, there, there's several ways a business owner can can get more business from podcasting. Okay. You know, if you start your own podcast, you get a lot of benefits from that. Now, one of those is obviously it's it's a way to connect with with your audience and people in kind of a more long form, some might say even intimate way, right? Uh, you know, it's a 30 minute maybe block rather than just a blog post or, or written, so they can hear your voice, and yes. in some cases, video, kind of like what you're doing right now. Correct. And, and it's also a great way to find new customers, right? So when you post this to YouTube, people will find it through search that have never heard of you or me. Uh, and that, that will be great for both of us. Another benefit I'd say to podcasting if you are a business owner is it gives you a good way to reach out to potential prospects and talk to them for a long period of time, right? So if you call someone up and say, hey, uh, I think you're an interesting person. I might want to get to know you. Yeah. Do you have 30 minutes to share on the phone? Right. They might look at you like, huh, what? But if you say, hey, I want to invite you onto my podcast and I'm going to ask you who you are and talk about what you do, uh, that's an invitation that's a lot more interesting. And so as a podcaster, it gives you a great way to, to as I'm sure you've experienced, I see you smiling a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. to, to get these people on the line and have an, an in-depth conversation. And, and you never know what will come of that, having them sure. as a guest on your program. Uh, but I guess the big question here is how hard it is to get you know, podcast started? Because I mean, now we have, I don't know, what was I, last time I saw on this statistic, it was like crazy. I mean, the numbers, what are they? Like hundreds of thousands of podcasts out there? I mean, uh, so as of now, as we're recording this in 2018, Right, because the podcasting I noticed has been picking up a lot, especially the last three years. Can correct me if I'm wrong here, um, mm -hmm. but how hard is it for someone who wants to just jump in, let's say now, and say, okay, maybe I might have a, a possibility? So, so I think there are two aspects to that. There's how hard is it to start one, and then there's how hard is it to grow an audience. Um, so yeah, that's that's even more difficult, don't we? Right, and, and and I think that when you think about the hundreds of thousands of podcasts out there, that's the that's your competition for for gaining an audience in in some respects. So, to get that's started, it's actually fairly simple, and I I'd, I'd urge people not to overthink it. Um, just kind of get out there, start a podcast, and then work on refining it. So really the only thing you need to buy is a, you know, assuming that you have a, a laptop already, um, is a microphone. And so you can, you can do it through your computer's microphone, but I, I'd urge you to upgrade that just a little bit. Spend it, it won't cost you more than $50.00. I know the snowball microphones that you can find on Amazon, a lot of people like, and you can get those for 35 or $40. That's more investment, sure is, yeah. Yeah, and, and so I think that's well worth it. Um, okay. And then from a, a studio perspective and getting good sound quality, uh, there, there are a lot of things you can do there, but really the easiest way to start is you can start recording podcasts in your walk-in closet. And I know that sounds funny, 
It does. Uh, <laughs> I can't. I can't picture myself locking myself in the closet. It just right. right. Well, if you're doing video, it's probably not a good idea. But but, but you, you're saying you're audio. saying this tip because of uh, the obviously the sound in the background. That way, it's nice and quiet. Exactly. So the clothes will absorb the sound. Um, wow. So my, Interesting. My wife has a popular podcast, and she started in her closet, you know, with, with all the clothes around. So if you're worried about noise, maybe you live in kind of a noisy area, but you have a walk-in closet. Yeah. And, and by the way, talk about noises. I don't know if you're picking up, but I think I'm having some noises coming from uh, upstairs too. <laughs> do some Fortunately, sort of yeah, I'm not it's picking not that up. Time, but again, these are things that we just don't control and you never know what the rest of the people are going to do around, you know, uh, in the building. So, um, yeah. What are some of the challenges, true challenges that you can say, you know, this is what I went through and, you know, perhaps by telling someone to avoid, you know, that, that aspect uh, might make them a little more successful in their podcast, what would you say? So I think that uh, this gets back to the audience question, right? And so right. the challenge is at first you'll have a small audience, unless you already have a following, a big following through social media or your own blog or something along those lines. And mm -hmm. so, um, and, and that can be frustrating at first. You might start your podcast and maybe 20, 30 people listen the first week, but your goal is to grow that. Of and course. so when I, when I think of challenges and how to grow the podcast, there are a couple different ways you can do that. The number one way is to reach existing podcast listeners. And the easiest way to do that is to be a guest on other podcasts. So- if you go on other podcasts and are a guest there, you can mm -hmm. obviously talk about your own podcast on there because your podcast is probably why that person has invited you, right? Your experience. Um, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> because this is a story having, there. Having, you know, we have, you know, again, I believe that the people that I interview, um, for me, by the way, it, it, it's, it's an amazing opportunity because I'm learning too. Mm -hmm. um, I'm still going through my learning curves and I started my podcast just in February last year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I tell you what, I've been through a lot of bumpy roads um, and within a few months um, and I want to make, you know, I want to let know the whole audience uh, that you've been uh, very helpful to me because I did join your um, directory. And because of that, I have had amazing expert guests that I have been able to interview since the end of last year. Um, so that's why I feel honored. Actually, it's my honor to interview you because through your list is how I, I was able to connect to these people. And if you have not decided to get started that list, uh, we would have not connected. And isn't yes. that amazing? How sometimes we start a business without realizing how many other people you affect them around. So anyhow, I wanted to share that with the audience because it is important for them to know that Part of the, the experience that I have had with your directory really has worked. So it's it's a wonderful service that you're providing, and yes, it works because I know this this other you know uh, podcastings out there services that I think sometimes make a lot of promises and things that they they just cannot deliver. Okay, well, thank you. I'm glad you're having. And, and you do deliver because, like I say again, and, and I'm being truthful about this. Like I said, one of my things about interviewing, you know. Uh, Experts like you is that I want sincerity to happen to us to be transparent because nothing's perfect. And like I said, I've been through my bumpy roads and by all means, I mean, I'm happy for people to go back to my very first episode uh, where, you know, hmm, ha, 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 and I'm still learning as it is. But I think that the natural aspect of a human being, it's what's more septic than when we try to become such a perfectionist and now realize that we stop being ourselves. Right. So right. that's that's my message to everyone who is actually watching it. Um, for those who are listening right now, uh, but definitely that's so. Let's get, let's keep going because I know there's a few things. So the uh, story that kind of just got carried away there, but I did. I, it was important for me to bring this up because you are the first uh, you know podcaster that I actually have brought to 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 my show, and I I really you know again from the bottom of my heart I really feel that you deserve it. You really deserve this opportunity. Thank you. Um, absolutely. It's my pleasure. It really is. Is there a way to um, tip your toe into podcasting? What yes. about that? How, how yes. can you tip your toe? 
So I, I think the best thing to do is to start by being a guest on other podcasts. Really? Uh, and then okay. Th so this do you think it's easier to, to be a, 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 a guest in other podcasts instead of you storing your own? Well, you don't have to go through some of the technical setup, right? So creating a blog is super easy. Lots of easy. business owners have that. But to, uh -huh. to create a podcast, you know, I mentioned you need a microphone, um, but you need, you do have to do a few things that aren't, they're, they're, uh, they aren't expensive, but you just have to do them, right? You have to set up a hosting account with someone like Libsyn. Uh, Podbean offers free podcast hosting if, if you don't want to spend anything, but Libsyn's like 5 or $10 a month. Not bad. Um, you need to create some cover art. You need to submit it to iTunes. So there's a little bit of technical work involved there, right? Okay. Being a guest on a podcast, it's still great. Get a microphone. It doesn't have to be like this, but get a microphone. Yeah, I like uh, your microphone. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you want to share which one that is? I have to kind of, by the way, I do this. Don't, don't take it personal. I, I, I like um, picking on, uh, on people's brain. So, and, sure. and finding out as much as possible because we want to give the best to the audience, right? So, sure. what, what, what microphone are you using? Are you this is an that? ATR. Uh, let's see here. This is an ATR nice. microphone. Uh, let me see if I can. I'm not sure the model, but this was under a hundred dollars on Amazon. Um, and then I, I've got a mic stand here, which you don't need, you know, you can just put a little one on your desk. Is that, that good for, what is it to, 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 uh, soften the voice or, or what is it used for? I mean, like I said, oh. as you can tell, I, I actually have a Logitech <laughs> camera sure. with, comes in you know with the microphone and yes i did get this by the way right before i started my 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 my, my video because with the podcasting since you don't have to be in front of a camera i do have a headset that really very clear voice and i really like that so i'm hoping that now with these videos you know i am getting a clear you know uh voice because that is important when you get too much audio noises in the background that's kind of you know disturbing for, for the listener right mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. go, and, yeah, go and, ahead and i do a uh, I, I do usually use a headset as well um oh, okay. for listening. Uh, because on a podcast sometimes you'll get an echo if people are speaking like this we're, we're using a zoom to do this it doesn't have that big of an issue no but it doesn't no not on, at all on a skype call a lot of times if someone is listening out loud their own microphone will pick up Huh, the other person's voice and it creates an echo. Um, interesting. Yeah. yeah. So, and, and yeah, but, I, but, but by the way, and I'm sorry to interrupt there, uh, for those who are watching us or even listening to us right now, I mean, we are using zoom.com. So there you go. Now you got another tip. So you yeah. can do two and one. And that's what I start doing now because I, I just felt that we were, what we were doing originally was, uh, I had my, uh, marketing guy going in and, uh, I think he was converting the file, uh, into video, right, MP4 or something like that. And then from there, then he had to place the logo uh, from our podcast. Um, but then again, people will, you know, the subscribers that we have through YouTube, which is over 500, 600 now, uh, they actually were still listening to it. Even though it was a video, it was like they were sitting there and just watching a logo, you know, right. a static logo, you know, for a good 20, 30 minutes. So, uh, again, I, 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 you know, I, I think everyone out there on YouTube, especially for the fact that they were very patient and, and just staring at, at a logo. <laughs> Sorry about that. But okay, so let's keep going with the interview. Um, I would say the next question is, what can you do to be the audio guest on a podcast? Because that's difficult. How, how do you get in? I'm sure they have a lot. They have a list of others who want to join, you know, their, their, their podcast. How right. do you convince them? What, what, what do you tell them? What, you know, do you follow up with you know, certain scripts or what do you do? Mm -hmm. So there are a couple of things you can do. The, the first thing is make sure you're presenting yourself in the best possible light. And so uh, in, in podcasting, we have this thing called a one sheet or a one pager. It goes by different names. Mm -hmm. But think of it as a, a pitch, kind of your marketing profile, right? Mm -hmm. I'm Andrew. Here's, here's what I can do for you. Yeah. Um, and that pitch should have a number of things on it. One, it okay. should have links to previous podcast episodes you've been on, if, if you have those, right. or, or a list of them. Um, it should have your background, what topics you can talk about. You know, give, I, I can talk about being a guest on podcasts. I can talk about how to get started podcasting. Right. I can talk about, you know, we've covered several of these just in this, in this podcast today. So right. exact, you know, kind of to get the person thinking not just, oh, I'm an 
uh, I'm a podcaster, right? Or I'm an expert on podcasting, but specific topics like five ways to bring your podcasting to the next level, right? If I'm listening, that's a good to that, point. I'm thinking about a guest that might be, hey, that'd be a great topic for me to have. It's not just another podcasting person. Um, and then one thing I highly recommend you do on that on that one sheet is put okay. a list of sample questions that the person can ask you. And All they right. might not just ask you those questions, but it'll kind of give them an idea of more of an idea of your expertise and it'll make it easier for the podcaster. And podcasters have a lot of people they're sorting through. So having that there and easy um, for them to go through is, is very valuable. That's wonderful. Uh, that is a great tip. Thank you so much. Um, and, and like you said, not only if, if you haven't, this is you're just starting off, right? Um, obviously, you're not going to have you know, any, any proof <laughs> or anything to show off <laughs> that you have been in other, uh, you know, podcasts, but definitely, I mean, uh, there's always a beginning. We all have mm -hmm. to start somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that's, you know, reality of life. So don't feel discouraged. I would like to say that, um, uh, because I think that there are so many things that we can talk about and we can share our knowledge and our experience that, like you said at the beginning, I think that people are more afraid of making that first step, okay, of saying, okay, I'm going to start recording, and then people are not going to listen to me, I'm wasting my time. Even if you feel that people are not going to listen to you, it doesn't matter because eventually some others will come and follow you. There will be an interest in your topic, especially something that maybe other people, you know, they're not expert in that specific field. And like you said, if you become more specific in certain niches, I think also that could be very helpful, right? Yes. So uh, what I would recommend, so a lot of people used to create these one sheets as, as a PDF document. And okay. uh, that's, a, that's a big problem because, you know, most people are now on the web on their phones, right? On their mobile devices. And, you know, if you're on a PDF, you're sitting here pinching and zooming and you can't see it. So sure. I created a system on podcastguests.com where you can create an online one sheet. And it's, awesome. That's great. it's mobile friendly. And when you do that, you get into my directory, right? So you can see some examples if you go to podcastguests.com slash directory okay. of some of these mobile one sheets. And then people can invite you through there directly as well. So um, okay. I, I highly recommend people check that out. Okay. Because I know that the way I'm always in connection with you is that once a week you 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 send out the, the, the weekly uh, kind of newsletter, you call it. I mean, uh, you know, with the information about who are, uh, you know, um, experts who want to come into a podcast and mm -hmm. vice versa. Because really you have both of them on the, on the page. So if you are a podcast, I think that's what you did for me, by the way, wasn't it? I think that uh, you have the generosity to send out, you know, my information that I was starting my, my podcast and mm -hmm. you send it out to your email list. And yes. from there, that's how I, they actually reach out to me, and um, I, I have to say, we got bombarded <laughs> for our yeah. first experience. Is that typical? I don't know, uh, but we, we, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating here, by the way, folks. I mean, I think that we got, I don't know, a, an average of maybe 35, 40 people. I mean, yeah, is so, that a good turnaround? I don't know. Can you tell me? Yeah, yeah. So, so, so the way that works is for, for free, you can go to podcastguests.com, okay, uh, enter your email address, and then when you, every Monday, you'll get a newsletter. It's now sent out to over 4,000 people. And, wow. It's really uh, that cool. has, yeah, it's, it's grown a lot. And so that has both podcasts looking for guests, which is I featured your podcast in there. And that's how you got 35, 40 people saying, yes, I'd love to be on your podcast. And pitching. Now that we interview them all, by the way, but yeah, sure. we, gotta pick, we will pick it too also. I have to be, you know, upfront about yep. it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then at the same time, I feature some of the people that are in my directory, some of the experts that want to be in there. So if you want to be a guest on podcast, you can submit yourself to any of the podcasts that are in there. You just fill out a quick form. It gets sent to the podcaster just like it did when you were featured in there. And Excellent. then if you want podcasters to come to you, that's where the optional paid service of creating that online one sheet and being in the directory uh, comes into play. Okay. So you repeat that again. So if you want... Um to be in someone's podcast, that's when you pay uh, the membership fee, or how, uh, how does you, that work? You don't have to. There is a free option, right? And that is that okay. every week when you get this newsletter, you can respond to the podcasts that are being featured there. But there are sure. only six podcasts featured per newsletter. They might not be a fit for you. 
so if you really want to get booked on a lot more, that's when getting into the directory and getting this one sheet on there makes a lot of sense because now podcasters that are looking for your expertise will come to you. And there are two options in that paid model. One is $9 a month and that gives you the online one sheet and it puts it in the directory so people can find you. There's another one for $29 a month. Uh-huh. But that one, you get more exposure. You get featured in a newsletter on a rotating basis. Uh, you can enhance your profile and, and make it better. So we have, uh, I want to say about 150 people now that have those one sheets uh, on the site, those uh, on, that are in the directory. And That's we're great. getting a steady flow of, of invitations to them. It's super easy for someone to invite them. And what it does is it, that creating that one sheet really helps you refine your pitch and what you can speak about by asking you, hey, what are some sample questions? What are some topics that you can speak of? Uh, And of course, it links to your social profile and and that sort of thing as well. So um, I think that really helps people figure out, uh, really put their best foot forward and makes it easier for podcasters to invite them on their show. Mm -hmm. And and let me ask you something. And and by the way, some of you who are, like I said, watching us now through my YouTube channel or listening to uh, through SoundCloud, um, what will you uh what will be your tips when it comes to having rejection because it happens right i mean suddenly you know you want to go into uh certain you know uh you know podcasters and, and they're not accepting your, your your invitation for whatever reason uh how can you break the ice i call it breaking the ice uh, what what else can you do um especially because we have a lot of business owners audience that's what we have and some of them might after this you know uh episode they might start thinking seriously mm, maybe i should start my my, my own podcast and if they, do, they don't want to have that responsibility or they consider this a lot of work then maybe they want to be a guest so what would you say in regards to this so I would say focus on podcasts that are uh, focus less on size and more on how good that audience is for you. So you could be on a podcast that has uh, 10,000 weekly listeners and it's very general though. It's not related to what you do and then you don't get much benefit out of it as opposed to being on one that has a couple hundred weekly newsletter, uh, sorry, weekly listeners that are exactly in your target audience. And so I would focus more on the quality of the listeners than the size of the audience. And I also, especially when you just get started, don't, uh, don't be too picky, right? If you can get onto a podcast, too, yeah. so don't get discouraged, but don't be too picky. Those are two right, words. right, <laughs> right. So, so, and it might be if you're getting discouraged because you're not getting invited, maybe you're being too picky, right? So maybe going That's on true too. Sm- smaller podcasts that maybe okay. are up and coming uh, can make a lot of sense as opposed to necessarily just focusing on those big ones. You know, the, the ones that are in the top charts on iTunes, they're yes. getting barraged with people offering to be a guest. Oh, I can't podcast. imagine. I just so start imagine. with some of the others. You know, a lot of the ones that use my service, the hundreds, you know, a thousand plus podcasts that use podcastguests.com. Right. Um, you know, those people are on there because they're looking for guests, right? So, so that's a good place to start. Okay. Well, definitely. Those are really great tips. They really are. Um, I mean, uh, I, I just feel like I said, just take action. <laughs> That's yeah. really what it comes down to. Dip your toe in. Now, really, I mean, if you think about it, uh, you know, when it comes to any type of decisions that we make in life, could be personal, could be business, it doesn't matter, just take action. And I think that's where a lot of people have that kind of paralysis, right? They're like, oh, you know, I want to perfect. And, 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 and the more, and don't get me wrong, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, I'm more of a logical thinker myself, but I mean, you know, we need to take, you know, steps. We need to make certain steps to reach that goal. And it doesn't matter how long it takes you as long as you make it there. Okay. And I do believe that, you know, um, you know, practice really, uh, you know, gives you the ability to feel more comfortable in front of a camera. Oh, and that is our timer. That means we're going to be needed to wrap up very soon. Um, but yeah, so definitely, uh, for me, it's, it's been a great, um, journey. Uh, it's been exciting because like I said, I have had the experience to interview wonderful people like you, uh, that we always learn from each other. And I mean, how much information, valuable information can you get out of these podcasts or even videos and folks it's free. I mean, how amazing is that? I mean, it can't get better than that, you know? And again, if you need help, because let's be honest, one of the things I notice is 
there's certain personalities or also groups of people that do a yourself approach. And that's fine. You know, they'd rather go and go through all the learning curves and do whatever they have to do to do themselves. But there's another side of the group that say, do it for me. Because they don't want to go through the hassle. They really, maybe they're lacking time. That happens. And it does take time, let's be honest, because it does take time for all of us to learn as much, right? So do you have any services specifically? I mean, annually you allow people to come to you and say, well, you know what, I, I love to start a podcast, but it sounds like a lot of work from everything I've been listening out there. Um, do you do any kind of coaching with that? Have you thought about it? You know, or- I, I don't. I would recommend checking out uh, schoolofpodcasting.com. Uh, Dave Jackson does an excellent job there. I know I used it as a resource when I got started. Okay. Uh, so I checked that out. Uh, if, you, if you're worried about editing your podcast, uh, I use a service called um, Podcast Fast Track. And I've been oh. using that for many years. It's very affordable. Check that out. Um, does that allow you uh, to, to like uh, add your intros and your outros and things like that? And you can I, uh, I send them the, I send them my my raw files and they do they clean up the us the ums the uh, yeah. The well, I, the I, I started to tell you, but in this one we are going to keep them. <laughs> that's how <laughs> <look> natural. <laughs> See, well, <laughs> sometimes you'll have a guest that that has a challenge with that they're not used to it, and and sometimes uh, sometimes you'll struggle. You'll be at a loss for words. I do it all the time and so it's nice having an editor who can clean that up well you know always the professional touch i call it right it's always yes. nice uh and like you say for me it has been a little bit the opposite it's of just being who you are and and if sure. something came out that's the way it was meant to be <laughs> you know right. uh so and, and, and again but that's again that's my style so obviously i'm not here to convince it's, it's up else. to each individual person obviously it's your podcast right yeah <laughs> that's but, the great you know, it's fine i mean it, it is i mean if something comes you know disastrous where you know there's too much noise in the background something yeah obviously you need to delete <laughs> the whole mm-hmm. series and then redo if it's possible mm-hmm. so you know um again andrew i really really appreciate your time um my pleasure. How can the audience reach you once again? Please announce your, your, your URL, your website, and briefly again, your, your, your service that way they know. Yeah, just go to podcastguests.com and you can enter your email address and you'll start getting my, my weekly newsletter. And okay. then when you get that, you'll, you'll learn a lot more about the service. You'll get an introductory email that talks about it. And any of those emails, if you just reply to them, they come straight to me. Oh, so, wow. Uh, so if you have any questions, you can just reach out to me directly that way. Excellent. Excellent. Well, again, thank you very much for taking the time to share what's great tips. And uh, hopefully I might have you another episode. There's always going to be a part two and part three. (laughs) Isn't that true? Uh, So, um, you know, really, we appreciate your time. And I think it has been very helpful for people to uh, realize that, you know, especially as people are becoming more entrepreneurs and, you know, they're walking away from the comfort zone, which is their J-O-B, and and, and exposing themselves to a different world because that's what it is, right? With the good and the bad. I always tell people not everything is shiny and it's not rosy. Uh, but, you know, the reality is that sometimes we just need to kind of expose ourselves to a different, uh, you know, area of our lives, right? And that's how we do it. Right. So once again, it, it's been a great pleasure. Thank you so much, Andrew. And until next episode, thank you for listening and watching. And remember, you can find our episodes at soundcloud.com and the Tax Advisory and Business Coach Success Podcast. Thank you, folks. And until next episode, and thank you again, Andrew. It's been a great pleasure to have you. And I really wish you a lot of success. And if there's anything I can do for you, I'm here. Thank Thank you you. again. I appreciate it. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.